Happy Monday, Collective. What's going on? I hope all is well. Let me see if I could. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Okay, that's too far out. Sorry for the music, if y'all can hear. That's somebody outside my window. I hope all is well. How you doing, Collective? Yes, we doing a chair tarot today. I got all kind of stuff going on in my house. So, I didn't want <clears throat> too many days to go by without doing a reading. Because of me moving furniture and moving things around. Getting things fixed up in my home. So we doing chair tarot, okay? Have a seat, get comfortable. Let your girl know if this resonates for you. I appreciate all my new subscribers, my old subscribers. Thank you for the support. If you are new, have a seat, get comfortable. I already said that. But I want you to be comfortable and I want you to resonate with this video. If it does, leave a message, leave a comment because it helps the algorithm as well as other people who need the message that you heard and felt it resonated with you okay each one teach one all right so pay it forward thank you spirit all right so let's see what's going on i am using if i could find it y'all i slept on my neck wrong and i woke up with a crick in my neck i no nah, actually i woke up i was fine and then after waking my kids up and i went to lay back down for like two seconds I don't know. My neck just started hurting. My neck. <laughs> My neck started hurting. So somebody could be having some stress in their neck. That's what spirit is telling me. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and see what they're talking about. Ooh, competition. Okay. Wow. Feels inferior to the comp to the competition doesn't feel as good enough as others feels unworthy of others and then we have someone feels unworthy of your love or you feel unworthy of someone's love the number 34 could be significant so somebody could be 34 years old the number seven mm. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Somebody feels like, okay, so somebody thinks somebody got a crick in their neck. <laughs> they stressing about why you're not paying them no attention. And they feel like there's competition. They feel like you're dealing with somebody else. But you ain't even with my collective. I'm, I'm picking up singles. I feel like everyone that's watching, you single. You single. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Mm, social addict. Okay. Can y'all see that? Social addict wants to constantly hang out with peers or make excuses to see others besides their partner. Cancel plans in favor of others. Do y'all see that? Wants to constantly hang out with peers. Makes excuses to see others besides their partner. Cancel plans in favor of others. Mm. Okay, so <clears throat> it's a shame. It's a shame. I'm picking up so many downloads right now because there's different groups. Okay, so take it how it applies. I'm picking up that somebody does feel like there's competition. If you're single, um, <clears throat> I feel like even if you have a love interest or someone that's interested in you, like an admirer, um, they don't know how to be consistent. They don't know how to be consistent. This could be somebody from your past as well that like y'all like each other, but it don't never go nowhere. And the reason why it don't go nowhere is because this person is always trying to go after who's better, you know, to feel better about themselves. Um, they always got an excuse that they got to do this. They got to do that. And they cancel plans to favor other people. But then they feel like they got competition dealing with you when you don't pay them no attention. For those of you who are in a relationship, um, I feel like your person is on the verge of becoming uh, single. 
because you're going to be single. You're going to walk away from the relationship. Mm. You feel unworthy of this person's time. And so you're starting to do self-love. Congratulations. Okay. You're starting to do self-love because you feel like, you know what? If you ain't got time for me, then keep it moving. I'm not going to sit here and beg for your time. I'm not going to sit here and beg you to spend time with me. You Do you know who's sitting in front of you? I'm a god. I'm a goddess. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yes. The long, oh my God. The longest fling. Is that what that says? Where did these cards come from? I picked them. I picked them. Spirit told me to. I was like, I, I wasn't looking for this deck because that's how long it's been since I used it. Yes. Look what it says. Brief love affair, but refusing to let go. Karmic connection. One believes to be a soulmate or twin flame connection, y'all. I'm not. I'm not making this up, y'all. Ciao. Ciao. Okay. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> okay. Sabotaging. Somebody's sabotaging being with you because they're afraid. They they they're not equipped to love you on the level that you're on. And I told you, self-love, self-care, okay? Um, it says, ruins a relationship due to their belief they are not good enough. There go that word again. They're not good enough for the person. Treats others like garbage so they don't, so they would leave. So this, somebody could be trying to push you away because they feel like they're, they're, this is an insecure person. That's what I'm just going to say it. Whether you in a relationship or whether you dealing with somebody that is off and on, this could have been a sexual fling and they caught feelings, but they don't, they can't, didn't I say you a God or goddess? They can't amount to you. They can't amount to you. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. They can't amount to you. And it's like, I feel like this person is sabotaging it because it's not that you did anything to this person to make them feel like they're not good enough. It's their own insecurity or this could be you collective. Wow. Let's get more messages, please. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Fighting. And that's what I saw with that other card, but I put it back in the deck when I first shuffled. Um, so it says start fights over trivial matters, creates a mountain out of a molehill. Oh, this is country country. Breaks down self-esteem, makes others walk on eggshells. Damn. You don't want to be around somebody like that anyway. Okay. This person is either, you know, I don't know who this is, but I, I pray it's not my collective because y'all know better. Right? Right. Y'all know better and y'all do better, okay? So <clears throat> I feel like this could be an outside person. This could be a cross watcher that's watching. You're welcome. But you coming up in the reading real strong, honey boo, honey, honey, honey child, okay? You coming up in the reading real strong. And it's like you causing con conflict because of your insecurities. This could be, this could also be uh, parents. This could be people in your family. This doesn't have to be a lover, a love interest. This could be somebody in your family that causes conflict because they don't feel like they're worthy of having you in their life. Wow. Master manipulator. I can't make it up. Okay. Manipulates children in order to get them on their side, brainwashes them to dislike or go against their ex partner. Do you see what I'm talking about? Child. This is. Mm, let me pull my other deck. Okay. What? I just turned the deck over. It says bump, bump, bump. I'm like, that's why I was like, what? <laughs> and you see, you see the two gloves bump, 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 right? So bump, 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 
child insecurity on top of insecurity. It says bumps into uh, ex frequently due to work or family obligations, kids or family issues, visualizes and fantasizes about reunion with ex. I told you somebody single. <sighs> child, I'm going to pull it. Let's see if we can pull it down. I'm going to pull it. It's a whole row of insecurity. It's a whole row of insecurity issues. Just a list. That's what I'm hearing. A list of insecurity issues. And they trying to, they, this is a narcissist. I'm going to tell you right now. They like to play victim. And they the ones starting all the trouble. I ain't got time for this. I'm like, Spirit, why you tell me to pull this deck? <laughs> why you tell me to pull this deck, yo? Okay? Hold on, y'all. Trying to get the other deck out. They get the two big decks, okay? Talking all the tea. Scissors, okay? Yeah. End of a relationship. What I say? What I say? Spirit said, pull it. End of a relationship, okay? Come on, camera. End of a relationship. Stop. Can I get a... Thank you. Can I get a... Is it me? Okay, so it says end of a relationship. Loss of a job. Defensive. Someone will provide you. Feel an attack. Material loss. Bills. Unnecessary spending. Regret. Okay, so... <clears throat> This person feels like you moved on, <laughs> which I would do it. I would move on. Like, why am I going to stay with somebody as toxic as you? Okay. You know, and you over here speculating, assuming, you know, and then you're the one who's creating all this conflict. Whoever this person is collective, who is this person in your life? Okay. I feel like you was a giver to this person. You was the angel to this person. I feel like you was trying to help this person and show them that, you know, they're worthy of love. We got wallpaper, some improvements. Yeah, this person, you, I'm trying to tell you, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, okay? So this is improvements. Pleasant changes come in, loosening control, becoming more easygoing, bitter barriers coming down, taking care of business. Yeah. So this person is over here thinking that you dealing with somebody else and you over here living your best life. You making changes into your living environment, you know, um, you could be, you know, um, experiencing new beginnings, new good things coming in, especially with this um, Reese's Pieces peanut butter cup sitting here. Okay, short and sweet, brief love affair, karmic connections with life lessons, enhances understanding of wants and needs, moving forward with life. This is you, but they, they looking at you this way. They looking at you like, you know, you won't let, they won't let you go. Mm. They treated you like you was a, a brief love affair and you was in a whole relationship. Okay, or at least you thought so. Any messages, favorite for the collective, please and thank you. Clarify, please and thank you. Insecure, a list of insecurities from the comment coming out, exposing themselves. Like as much as they try to keep hidden what was going on with them, right? Yeah, this person feeling stuck. It's right under here. It says feeling stuck. Right? Resentment, inner demons, feeling emotionally drained, sickness, loss. Be careful of people you do not know. Reckless. Yeah, this person is reckless. They hanging around with the wrong kind of people, picking up all these demonic spirits, all these negative energies, and then they want to try to project them onto you, even though y'all not together. <laughs> <laughs> Even though y'all not together, like it's like they trying to blame it on the ex and they the ex. Mm. Child, let's get through this, Rita. Any other messages, Spirit? Clarify, please, and thank you. 
thank you. All right, so we have post-it note, a reminder, triggering messages, okay? Fragmented ideas, anonymous attacks. Didn't I say they trying to blame you as the ex and they the ex. They need to point the finger at themselves, okay? Generalization, lies, non-cynical, uh, non I hope I said it right, meaning energy space, yeah, energy space cluttered. You see that? Yeah, this person is going through it and they're trying to blame you. They're trying to come at you like you the problem. It says it right here. Sabotaging. Okay. Ruins a relationship due to their beliefs. They are no good. They're not good enough for the person. Treats others like garbage so they would leave. This person forced you out of the relationship because they didn't feel like they was good enough for you. Right? And you was trying to fight to stay for a moment, for a moment, let's be honest here, for a moment, because you really loved this person and cared about them. And now they want to sit here and send you triggered telepathic messages, okay? So they're trying to send negative energy your way. Let me tell you, do an egg cleanse, honey boo, okay? We got a hair clip, okay? So transition from child into an adult. They need to grow the fuck up, okay? Protected, security. Yeah, you, you, you leveled up. You was like, I'm not about to deal with these childish games with you. You know, I'm too good for this. I'm too gorgeous for this. I'm too, you know, this is somebody who, who's, you know, a jewel. Okay. You, you too good for that. It says, um, you're the sense of attention and you're becoming more attractive. And this person don't like it. They don't like it. They want you to be down in the gutter with them. This, this person is a master manipulator. Look at this. Shower cap. Look at this cute dog. They so... Look at you. <laughs> so cute. Okay. It says strength. Okay. Spirit is like, relax. Take a bath. Get your strength. Protected from enemies. Okay. You're clean. All right. It says re remain rational about your emotions. Don't let this person trigger you because what's going on with them is that they're dealing with a transformation that the universe is making them go through like a spiritual awakening. It's time for them to grow the fuck up. And they're sitting here trying to project their insecurities and play victim and Y'all not even together. That's the thing. That's what spirit keeps saying to me. This is for my singles, okay? Maybe it's because of the Mercury retrograde that we was going through. And then we got this new moon. Then we had tour. Like, it's just been a lot of moons, eclipses, solar eclipses. It's just been a lot of emotions. And people are trying to adjust and uh, deflect their emotions onto other people instead of dealing with it. Right, it says creative help will find you staying away from trouble. Exactly, stay your ass in the house, go out and do you. You know, this wanted to come out as well. Aries energy, yeah. Somebody, Daddy, that's my father calling me. I'm gonna hit him back in a minute. So, somebody is you know, impatient, bossy, and controlling, angry, a bully, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Could be an Aries you're dealing with. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'm going to pull a tarot. Okay, so a lot of this is all about cutting people out of your life that no longer serve you. Um, If they come in with the smoke, don't even give them the fire. Don't even give them a match. You know? You just keep it moving because they're trying to stop something that's coming in towards you. And that's what we want to talk about now that we know where this negative energy is coming from. People that you're no longer dealing with is still trying to hold on to you because of their insecurities. You was the best they, have, you, they ever had, okay? So we have the eight of coins. That's right. You focused on your money. You focused on your life. You're focused on your achievements, okay? You're mastering your skills, okay? And part of that is being able to be mature, you know? Learning how to let go of things that no longer serve you. 
Some of you could be getting a new opportunity to work for someone or yourself. Good news right here with the page of wands. Okay. So I feel like, you know, um, there's something being built. You could be working on building a new project, a new opportunity, working for someone that's going to be very, um, it's going to be very, um, exciting. Okay. So get ready. Okay. We have the nine of wands in reverse. So yeah, see where it says change. It says choose your battles. Okay. Out of control, being defensive, retreat, try another approach, overwhelm, not worth it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like if this person come with the smoke while you trying to get this off the ground, choose your battles. Don't even be bothered with them. Okay. The nine of wands in reverse is somebody that, um, it's like, they're trying to put you in a defensive mode. Right. And it's like, you're looking at this person, like you're going to have to come, you're going to have to come correct. If you want to even come towards me, because I'm not going to give you I'm not going to give you the match to, to light the fire. No, I'm not doing that. Clarify spirit. <clears throat> okay. So we have exactly, exactly. You're not bothered. <laughs> okay. So you could be the Aries. You could be Aries. Okay. With Aries being here, Aries is a fire sign, but you're not bothered. Or this person could be acting like a bitch. And upset because y'all are not, you know, in harmony, right? Um, this could be someone who's unhappy or you could be unbothered with this person living your best life. You are a visionary, okay? Um, so I feel like spirit is telling me with the queen of wands, the nine of wands and the four of cups, this possibly could be an Aries. This could be somebody you dealing with that's an Aries. But with this clip, hair clip here, and the queen of wands getting a crown right there in her head, I'm thinking this is you. It could be either or. Um, I feel like spirit is saying, you know, you're picking and choosing your battles. You're not, you're not, you don't care about this person. You don't care for them. <laughs> you're... <laughs> You're very reluctant to even say anything to them. Oh, we got the queen of swords. Okay. So now we got two queens here. Mentally strong. Okay. So either this is you and them. This could be two sisters. This could be two mothers. This could be a mother and a daughter. Um, this is someone who's quick witted, sharp, ready to cut a person. Oh, look how she holding that sword. I dare you come over here. Yeah. This person here, you got all this good stuff coming in and they trying to come in between what you got going on, but you're about to cut them off completely. Completely. Clarify the eight of coins, please. Thank you. Okay. So yeah. Look at this. Five of swords. I can't make it up. Right? Hostility, defeat, conflict. Uh-huh. Abusive. Okay? So somebody's trying to work somebody's nerve. Oh, Lord. Page of Wands, please. You about to let this person know, don't come with the smoke. You don't want it. I will cut you with that Queen of Swords. The devil and the will of fortune came up. Didn't I say this person is trying to attach to your good fortune? Okay. The will of fortune is in reverse. So it says challenges, upheaval, luck of the drawer, karmic lessons. Yeah. You learn from this person. You learn that they have some issues. This person is sexually addicted to you. For those of you that's in a relationship. Mm. Okay. Okay. And I feel like this is happening because it's out of your control. This person needs to face reality. That's what spirit is telling me. They need to face reality and realize that they're the toxic person in this connection. And that's why it never really went anywhere. Mm. Thank you, spirit. <clears throat> We have the Ten of Coins. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you you got something coming through? You focused on your legacy. You're taking action. You're choosing to move forward. Some of you are going to be buying a house. That's what Spirit is telling me. Some of you are going to be buying a house. Some of you are moving. 
And I feel like this person can feel that in your energy because what is that card that said? Yeah, it says bumps into X frequently due to work or family obligations. So this person may have no choice but to deal with you if you have children with this person. Um, Spirit is telling me, or oh, y'all have um, like co-workers or friends, affiliations. Like you have people that you are affiliated through this person. And it says that they fantasize about a reunion with you. But it was another card. Yes, thank you. I picked it up. Right here, soulmate or twin flame connection. Believes to be a soul. Believes to be a soulmate or twin flame connection, but they're really a karmic connection. They feel like you're their soulmate, but they don't believe or they are insecure about having a connection with you because they don't. Oh, I'm not. I gotta go pick that up for real, for real. Child, they mad at me. Oh my god, got me doing too much. <laughs> got me doing too much. That none of the cards fell. This is the only card that fell. So what's falling? Because the Four of Cups is here. Yup, Ten of Wands. This person is overwhelmed and stressed the fuck out. Because you don't care. And I feel like Spirit is saying it's the end to it. Right? The more you show that you don't care, the more it's going to be, you know, it's going to, it's it's like, it's over. It's over, over. You moving on. I told you, some of you are moving on. It's over, over. All right? The bridge is about to break. They not going to be able to get to you. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Exactly. Two of Wands. Okay. Reassess. Make adjustments. Set goals to find your purpose. Okay. So there's some type of strategy that you're going to have to work on to keep yourself away from this person. And I feel like you're working on that with the Eight of Coins. Okay. To cause some type of, um, some type of, um, disconnect lack of communication when you look at the five of swords she got her back to this person and they got a knife behind see this person only coming towards you to get your attention they ain't their intentions for you is not good this person is very jealous of you as well um they're jealous because you know how to de detach you don't hold on to things and they're trying to get you to hold on okay they're trying to get you to hold on. Sorry, y'all. I told you. This is a cheer tarot reading, okay? <laughs> They're trying to get you to hold on. Give me two more cards, spirit. All right? So we have solar eclipse. Didn't I say all these eclipse timing about six months from now? You and this person will no longer, they, don't, they won't have access to you, okay? You're going to um, definitely see a huge change and new beginnings. That's what it's showing me here with the solar eclipse. It says, you know, catalyst for change, transformation, cosmic triggers. So this person is triggered because of these cosmos, moons, and solar eclipses, and new moons, and old moons, and full moons, and, you know, it's like the shadow side. Somebody is like, finding your inner truth you realize something that it will never be between you and this person because they got the fucking problem eight of swords i told you negative thoughts yeah this person is definitely going through some type of transformation and they're trying to cause some type of self-entrapment they're trapped in their thoughts about you they're thinking about you three of swords Overcoming sorrow, reconciliation, letting go, healing, release, forgiveness, feeling hopeful and optimistic. You're recovering from the way this person treated you. <laughs> Look at the moon. I told you all these moons, okay? Blocked intuition, misconception, okay? Uncertainty. Okay, dreams, anxiety, illusions. This person going through it. <laughs> they going through it, yo. And they're mad because you're overcoming that. And they didn't see it coming. They thought they had you. Okay? Yeah, they thought they had you. Locked down. That you will never let them go. Even though they don't want anything to do with you. Look, stabbed in the back. I can't make it up. Heartbreak, pain. 
right? You you the one who's letting this go. Shocking attack. So just be careful with this person because they're a little delusional, okay? Always trying to do something. And you trying to focus on your future, focus on your legacy, focus on your stability. Maybe you was trying to do that with this person and they fucked up. Like they really fucked up. You know, take it how it resonates. All right, so you have love coming in, okay? Have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting. I feel like when you move, if for those of you, excuse me, that's getting a house or moving to a new location so this person don't know where you at, I feel like you're definitely going to meet the right person. Nothing is lost, okay? Nothing that you put in is lost. We got twin flames, right? Yin and yang balance. Okay, complimenting each other. That's what it says. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Any other messages? Thank you. Okay, so we have the snake competition. Okay, that's it says it right here. Competition, enemy, clever. So it's like this person can see, foresee. You know how somebody is like worried and nervous about something and they're actually right. They can actually, they have a gift as well, but it doesn't play well from them. It's it's like, it's like because of the connection that you and this person have, it's like they can detect good things coming into your life and they want to come and try to sabotage it. Okay. They want to come and try to sabotage it. It's right here. Sabotage. All right. <laughs> Ruins relationships because they don't feel like they're good enough. Believe they are not good enough for the person. Treats others like garbage to get them to leave. So they, they treat you like garbage and to, to get you to leave. And then they want to, um, you know, it just don't make no sense. It just don't make no sense. All right. And this could be mother, father, sister, brother, lover. It don't ma It don't have to be intimate. Okay. We have love call. Yeah. You definitely going to have new people coming in, talking with you, loving on you. We got lightning bolt here. Okay, sudden change, shocking news. Yeah. So you might be getting some good news coming in, like I said, with the page of wands, giving you some type of idea or opportunity to move forward. And that's what you need to focus on. Be unbothered because this person is trying to come back towards you to stab you in your back. They're trying to continue to get you to focus on the heartbreak by reminding you of their presence. Crazy. But they're about to get a surprise of their life. I promise you that. When you show no type of energy, you don't show any type of response. Okay? Don't even respond. That's what Spirit is telling me. Because they got a list of insecurities and they're trying to trigger you with their insecurities. Any other messages, Spirit? <clears throat> any other messages okay yeah divine timing is at play need time takes time okay in time cycles time to heal progress yeah in time you are and you're still in this healing process so continue to take spiritual baths we saw the dog with the uh right here yeah continue to take spiritual baths look at you i'm bothered <laughs> Somebody could have a rubby a rubber ducky in their bathtub. <laughs> ain't nobody, ain't nobody judging. Ain't nothing wrong with having a little childlike energy. You know, that's what makes you relax. Okay. Yeah, I told you, you got love coming in. Look how she holding her heart. She holding her heart, healing. Unconditional love. Come on, camera. Okay. Unconditional love, self-love, openness, passion, attraction, affection. Yeah. You attracted somebody new into your life. Okay. Exactly. Protect your energy, girl with the snake. Okay. Empaths and narcissists. Didn't I say, and I don't like to use that word too much, but empath and narcissist paradigm. Okay. Being uh, charmed or used. Okay. You have to enable your boundaries with this person. All right. So you will be having new conversations over coffee with somebody. All right. Yeah. You're getting over this heartbreak. That's why it's in the reverse. I love it. Three of swords here twice. And it says it overcoming sorrow. Okay. Can y'all see that? Overcoming sorrow. 
Yeah, reconciliation, letting go, healing, releasing, and forgiving. Forgive yourself, okay? You got somebody new that's going to be hot on the press for you. Because you, you a God. You a goddess. Male or female. Doesn't matter. And I, I do have engagement ring. So in the past, it could have been something that you had a commitment with this person, but they was lying to you. They was lying to you. <sighs> Lord. All right, let's pull out an Oracle card. See what spirit want to say to you. This was good. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please leave a like and a message. I appreciate it. Let me know if this resonates with you. Spirit, give me an Oracle message for this reading. For the collective, what is the uh, outcome? Thank you. Okay, so we have illness. Wow. We have illness. It says madness is a sane reaction. I told you this person has a mental illness. Oh, my God. Be careful, okay? Warning, warning, warning. Be careful. Do not engage with this person because they have a mental illness, all right? They're going to keep fucking with you, and they're they going to be in their own head Stress the fuck out. Look at this. Eight of Swords. I can't make this up. Negative thoughts, doom and gloom, drama queen, hands tied, paralyzed. They're not going to be able to touch you. Okay? Yeah, because they, they don't know how to control their temper. Shame. Wow. Okay? It says shame. Okay? Come on, camera. Tells me I'm unworthy of love and belonging. This person was a mental abuser. This person was a mental abuser. And of everything that they put on you, they now going to have to experience. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. We have space. Thank you. Yeah. It says my job is not. To keep myself small. I'm allowed to take up space. Exactly. You allowed to be the beautiful being that you are. Okay. This is about self-love, self-care. And I feel like you've overcome this. That's why I said you single. And this person trying to show up, pop up, and act like y'all still got some kind of connection. And you've been separated from this person. But they want to bring it back like it's the present. And they the past. They the ex. <laughs> You are allowed to take up as much space as possible because you're beautiful. You're handsome, okay? You are a beautiful angel. That's what spirit is telling me. Exactly. Belonging, okay? Yeah, it says, um, my body houses the cosmos and the cosmos hot See, They better not fuck with you. They don't know who they fucking with. They don't know who they fucking with. You spiritual as fuck. I can't make it up. You spiritual as fuck. Okay, I trust my experience with the sacred dimension. That's why spirit is saying this is out of your control. Let this fool act the way they fool because I'm going to handle them. I'm going to handle them. Okay, they can't touch you even though they want to. Okay, you just don't add to it. Don't add to it. That's what spirit is telling me. Don't add to it. Gosh, all the cards. Okay, yeah. Don't let pride get in your way. Mm. Thank you, Spirit. What other messages do you have for the collective? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. It says your commitment is being tested. Yeah, who are you committed to, this person or yourself? That's why I said you don't have no control. It's like a test. This person is trying to pull on your heartstrings. They're trying to show back up in your life. Make you feel like there's something going to be. And there ain't nothing going to be. They over here want to show up with flowers. And they got a whole fucking knife behind their back. Ready to stab you. Ready to hurt you. Cut you. Say something to you to try to get your self-esteem back down to where they are. Don't even entertain this fool. Mm -mm. Thank you, spirit. So we have you and your loved ones are safe. Didn't I say you safe? Didn't I say that? Y'all safe. New moon and cancer. 
It says step out of your comfort zone. Time for you to start looking someplace else to relocate. If you've been thinking about getting a house, moving, relocating to another place, do so. And do not put a forwarding address for this person to find you. Others of you, you might not have a choice because you have children with this person, but you can get a protection order against them, okay? Spirit is saying, have faith in your dreams, okay? Focus on the things that you want because you are going to get them. At the bottom of the deck, we have a new romantic cycle begins. I can't make it up, all right? If y'all enjoyed this, please let me know. I, I appreciate you taking the time to resonate with this message. Leave a comment, and I'll talk to you guys on the next message. This is...